UCP government won a large majority in the latest provincial election. Since then, Premier Kenny and his team have moved ahead on many fronts. They scrapped the carbon tax, set up an energy war room, and are now asking for Albertans' input on getting a better deal from Ottawa. But not all these measures have been popular. Most recently, funding cuts to education and health care. Danielle Smith from 770 CHQR joins us this morning to continue the conversation on this story. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning. All right, Danielle, so you're going to be speaking with Premier Kenny on your show today as part of a year-end review. And we've heard many Albertans say some of these measures are not what they voted for. Well, I'm going to talk to him probably starting with the news that happened today that Moody's downgraded our credit rating, which says a couple of things to me. It says, number one, that they're not convinced that the fiscal plan goes far enough. So I know people are, are frustrated that there are some cuts, but I don't think that we would have had a downgrade unless Moody's thought that, number one, our revenue situation was going to improve, or number two, that our expenses were deep enough in the cuts in order to get us to budget balance. If you have to, if you look like you're going to be relying on borrowing forever and ever, you're going to end up pay paying higher rates. So I think that that that's the context we've got to look at the cuts in because one of the things that Premier Kenny has said is that you make the small cuts now so that you can avoid the big cuts later. And so I'm going to ask him about why it is the uh, the first place to go is is the frontline workers. You'd expect that there would be layers of management and education that could be cut before teachers are let go or that there'd be layers of administration that would be cut before nurses would, ne would be let go. Um, I also want to ask him about the firing of Lauren Gibson as well. I think that there was um, there's a, a, a perception that either it's to shut down the investigations or it's in punishment for the investigations. And teachers are very concerned about the consolidation of their pension plans. They've been operating their own pension plan with an independent board for 80 years and all of a sudden it's going to be under the umbrella of ANCO. Plus there's also the start of the Trans Mountain Pipeline construction that was announced yesterday. But have we made any progress on getting economic corridors? The uh, premiers of um, the Saskatchewan, New Brunswick and Ontario signed a nuclear deal. I noticed that Alberta didn't sign on to that. I wonder why. So there's all kinds of things we're going to be able to cover with him today. All right. So you're going to need to tack another hour onto your show. I think so. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Danielle. We'll leave it there. And you can listen to Danielle Smith today from 930 to 1230.